Hello, and today I'll present to you the movie Good Times, 1974. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they have changed in 2023 after 49 years. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to support us. All right, let's get started. Number one. Asteroid played Florida Evans in the 1974 film. Asteroid was born in Palmetto Beach, Florida, to Bahamian immigrant Jonathan Roll, a farmer, and Elizabeth Alice Roll. Asteroid played Florida Evans when she was 54 years old. Sadly, Roll died on November 17, 1998, in Culver City, California. From complications of diabetes, she was 78 years old. Look at him, strutting like a peacock. Why not, baby? He ain't short on him. Oh, damn! <laughs> so she don't dig me, huh, little girl? Number two, John Amos played James Evans in the 1974 film. Amos was born on December 27, 1939, in Newark, New Jersey, the son of Annabelle and John Amos, an auto mechanic. John Amos played James Evan when he was 35 years old, and now he is 84 years old. What's going on? And what happened this afternoon? <laughs> Nothing. We just had lunch together. That's all. Lunch. <laughs> James, this is. Hey, welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Janet Du Bois played Willie Nell Woods in the 1974 film. Du Bois was born Janet Theresa Du Bois in Brooklyn, New York City, or Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Janet Du Bois played Willie Nell Woods when she was 42 years old. Sadly, she passed away on February 17. 2022, from cardiac arrest at her residence in Glendale, California, aged 88. Good morning, folks. Hi, I'm Malona. All right. Hi, gang. Hi, JJ. Okay. Good morning, folks. Hi. I'm Malona. All right. Hi, gang. Hi, JJ. Okay. I have a pretty good line in the. Number four, Ralph Carter played Michael Evans in the 1974 film. Norman Lear in John Massey succeeds in the 1970s with the hit television series All in the Family, Sanford and Son, and Maud. Ralph Carter played Michael Evans when he was 13 years old, and now he is 62 years old. I want to get out of the pub. What? Oh, man, Ooh, man, 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 you crazy? You know, I think, fellas, I think we should do the hip. For now, this is Ralph Carter. How are you? I just want to take the time to wish you a happy birthday.、I'll、Number five, Bernadette Stannis played Thelma Evans Anderson in the 1974 film. One of five children, Stannis was born and raised in the Brownsville section of Brooklyn, New York City. Bernadette Stannis played Thelma Evans Anderson when she was 21 years old, and now she is 70 years old. Tell me what you think. And don't be afraid of overdoing it. Oh, great, Jan. My name is Ramonda Young with Mahogany Books, and I want to hear some important information from Miss Stanis. She has a great book out. Number six, Jimmy Walker as James J. J. Evans in the 1974 film. Walker was born in Brooklyn, New York, and raised in the Bronx, New York. Jimmy Walker as James J. J. Evans. He was 27 years old then, and now he is 76 years old. Well, I wanted to ask you about Chappelle because he's possibly getting canceled. Number seven, Johnny Brown played Nathan Bookman in the 1974 film. Brown is primarily remembered for his voluptuous figure. Beautiful smile, versatile facial expression, and cheerful, easygoing style. Johnny Brown played Nathan Bookman when he was 37 years old. Sadly, 
Rao passed away in Los Angeles on March 2, 2022, age 84. Uh -oh. Evening, folks. Uh. Ain't supposed to touch the plumbing. It also states tenants ain't supposed to live in a lake. Number eight. Janet Jackson played Millicent Penny Gordon Woods in the 1974 film. Janet Demita Jackson was born on May 16, 1966 in Gary, Indiana. Janet Jackson played Millicent Penny Gordon Woods when she was 8 years old, and now she is 57 years old. Is he musical? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he loves me. Quest! Number 9. Penn Powers played Keith Anderson in the 1974 film. Powers was born in New York City, in Brooklyn, and raised in Providence, Rhode Island. Penn Powers played Keith Anderson when he was 24 years old. Sadly, Powers died of liver cancer on April 6, 2015. 864 and cremated. A little Robert Goulet on a clear day, and you'll see who uh, who you really are. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you enjoy this, please share it and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more interesting videos in the future. Thank you and see you again.